Ladies and gentlemen, I have returned, and guess what? We have done the first few points, so I will say this much right now. The top three in points are... Let me reach over and look at my thing real quick. The top three in points are Daisy, Donkey Kong, and... Uh... I believe... I believe Peach? Yeah. Those are the top three, and uh, the bottom five as of right now. So I, I messed up a little bit. Um, I will admit this right now, I've messed up. So I didn't actually pick the people in last correctly, and I knew I was probably gonna do that. So the people in last right now are Pink, Gold, Peach, Toadette, Metal Mario, Rosalina, and Baby Peach. I have documented those five, and now we're gonna continue on. So let me move. Um, let me move these pins off to the side because these are point charting pins. And uh, let me go ahead and close this. That so way we can have a brighter screen we can look at. I might actually tune up my brightness a little bit. There we go. Nice. And uh, I believe this is for the next few tracks. Uh, excuse me. So we will be Pink Gold Peach because... Oh yeah, apparently... Oh, I figured out what happened. I figured out what happened. I figured out what happened at the end of... Um, I figured out what happened at the end of Neo Bowser City. So this is what happened. I rewatched the video. I actually had to rewatch it twice because I was still... what I didn't get clarification as to what happened the first time. So this is what happened. So I was in first the whole race. I stopped at the start-finish line to wait on second place. Now, unbeknownst to me, um, Petey, Piranha, and Toad were on top of each other in second place. And I saw Toad initially, and I didn't see Petey, Piranha. Petey, Piranha apparently hit a double diamond block and got a mushroom and a boo. So, when I was waiting on Toad, at some point when Petey was racing around Toad, coming around the final corners, Petey hit the boo, which made his character disappear on track, and then hit the mushroom. So with him being invisible on the map, I could not see him, therefore I did not know he was closer to me than Toad. So, and it was so close too. So Petey actually crossed the finish line as soon as I started creeping across it, and it gave the win to him. It was like, it was really close. Like, we're talking like milliseconds. But I went, I, do, I didn't even catch it in Neo Bowser City anyway. Like, when I finished the race, I didn't even know that I finished second. Like, I was just looking at the screen. I was too busy, I was too busy talking about something. I thought I just flat won the race. So, yeah, it, it was a weird deal. Um, I, you know, I, him getting the boo and then the mushroom at the end, like, that's just, that's just a combination made in heaven for you. So... Yeah, I, I had no idea. I thought Toad was in second, and like I said, I had to re-watch it twice to figure out what happened, because the first time I watched it back, I didn't see Petey at all, so I had to actually had to back up the video even further, and Petey had been in third most of that third lap, but he had been with and like around and on top of Toad at various points, and that's just what happened. But we're going to be Pink Gold Peach because Pink Gold Peach has actually been sitting at 25 for a while and I just have not noticed. So Pink Gold Peach is last and then it's Toadette. So now we get the jump up here and I believe this one's first, right? Golden Dash, Lucky Cat, Turn Up, Crop, and then it's going to be these ones, right? Fruit, oh no, it's going to go here. And then Rock, Moon, Fruit, Boom. And okay, so these okay, yeah, we're fine. Paris Promenade. Now I've never raced on these new tracks, so I don't know how I'm gonna be. So if I'm gonna find a place to get be good at them, it's gonna have to be here. We're gonna turn this screen down a little bit. We'll turn it up in a little while. Man. These are also point markers. We still do this. So let's see who this here. This is Paris Promenade, right? Oh, 
Uh, so, of the people that are in last, Metal Mario is indeed one of them. Metal Mario is one. Toadette is one. Um, oh, this is pretty. Uh, Metal Mario, Toadette, Rosalina, Baby Peach. So, I don't know if I've seen Rosalina. Oh, that's a turn. Oh, can we not go that way? Oh, maybe it's a switch track. Oh, I'm actually stupid. It must be one of those tracks that changes, like, after every lap or something. Ouch. Oh, Lemmy's back. We haven't seen Lemmy since I played as him the only time. That was, like, the only time we've seen him. Ouch. To visit my friend the supermarket. Marquis Nidrodome. He doesn't live in Paris. I think he lives in Monaco. I think. I could absolutely be wrong. Oh my fucking lord. My, France's big place. France's big country. Uh oh. Don't hit me. Ooh. <laughs> he swiped. He swiped at me. He done did swipe at me. I'll tell you what. I love the music. They did a good job with this train. Have to go this way? Wait. Where does that way go? Wait, what? Wait, why do I have to go this way? Aren't I going backwards? I'm going backwards, aren't I? Wait. Oh my god. That's, that's so fucking wild. That is, that is wild. Okay, so, the track, it's two laps going the left direction, and then it's one lap going the right direction. In which, it just kind of reverses the, oh my god, near mode on this is going to be awful. That's really freaking creative and also really confusing, but leave it to the French to be slightly confusing at times. And then, as always, we're going to stop. That's crazy. Yeah, we essentially crossed the finish line backwards. That is wild. bottom feeders here? Besides Metal Mario? Oh my god, the Inkling fucking twins are back. God damn it! <laughs> Alright, so Inkling Boy is going to get the, take the points for Toadette because she's technically second to last. So, Inkling, oh man, this is going to get really brutal. Who's, who's next after Baby Peach? Because I'm going to have to look at this real quick. I think it's... Luigi, isn't it? 53? It's Luigi and Lakitu. So I may have to write down their names. Luigi, Lakitu, and Baby Daisy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to write down their names real quick just because... Okay, so Toadette's points are going to be deferred to Inkling, boys. This is going to be very difficult in, like, a good while. That's okay. Dude, the fact that... Dude, the fact that the villagers... Or not the villagers, that the Inklings can both be, like, in the freaking cup is astounding to me. I had no idea. Like, I thought they were just their own entity.
track is this? Doesn't seem familiar. Is this Toad Circuit? I'm guessing. I actually have no idea. This, to this track doesn't seem familiar. This must be something off uh, the game or off the GameCube. Fuck off. 200 CC. This track is gonna go by in like a minute. This track is either off the GameCube or it's off the uh, NES. Jumping over the overpass is a little familiar. Maybe it's on seven. That's a blue shell. That also seems familiar. Fuck's sake. No. Oopies. Is that Peach in front of me? Ah, oh, cool. whatever. The bottom six are Luigi. Metal Mario is gonna get points. Toadette's also gonna get points. So that means Rosalina is next in line, is she not? Yeah, because Rosalina's not here. Oh, Mother French. I thought that was second place. I was about to be like, fuck, I just lost. No, Link's in second for now. Oh, Villager's in second. Look, Villager, and he's got the star. Nice. Ouch. Oh, Metamorphos in second now. I can't see. I'm just gonna cross the line. Ouch. Well, that's a good thing I did. I don't know which race that was. Peachette, you're not doing yourself any favors, bro. Come on up. No. This fucking map? Oh, God. I fucking hate this map. Ah, oh, this... Of all the fucking maps that you can add to the game, you add this one? I hate this map. Don't get me wrong, this map's hilarious. But I fucking don't like this map. This map and Moo Moo Farm on the 64, I just dread. And Sherbert Land. Sherbert Land, that freaking ice one? Fuck that track in particular. I think Sherbert Land was on the, was on the Cross 7, if I remember right. They made this track seem longer than the 64, which is kind of curious. Either that or maybe it's the same. Oh, they extended the tunnel bit. That's kind of cool. Yeah, this 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 wasn't a whole fucking blown, blown tunnel before. This is kind of cool. Nope, fuck off. You're not smashing me. I always liked it on the 64 when it would just flatten you. I think the flattening effect in Mario Kart 64 is something they should bring back. In Mario Kart 9 or 10 or whatever it's going to be called next. Track definitely does seem longer. 
I do like the they added all the aesthetics to it. Like they they made they kept it the same, but they added different things to it. I like how the stereotypical thing to do is to make the shy guy the hard-working, like, group of people in the Mario universe. Practically, like, the freaking I don't know. I don't want to get canceled. I probably would. I've said some really odd things in all some of my videos. Villager's gonna steal second. Holy French, I think he did. No, he got shoved out of the way at the end. Oh, and he still got it! What? Dude, villagers like man, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That wasn't the last race, I don't think. No, it wasn't. Name or name, I'm saying. Oh my fucking lord, we all just got coconut mauled. We all just got coconut mold. I like how this track became a meme for no real reason. It literally is just another track in the Mario Kart universe. I like this track. This track's not bad. This track has provided some high quality entertainment in my Mario Kart racing career. Okay, that's new. Don't like that. <laughs> that's new. Oh, this is cute. Her horn is a lot cuter than fucking Lemmy's. I think at, at some point when the switch probably needs to uh, recharge, then uh, I'll probably go out and get some food at some point. It's only 3 a.m. right now. I'm actually feeling alright. I'll probably drink some water in a little bit. Just to kind of keep my brain hydrated. Hey Toad, how's it going? Who's this in front of me? Is this fucking Incan girl? Yep, there she goes. What's the, oh, I was gonna go down the bottom. I was like, what's the bottom right now? Ouch. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was close. Don't. Inkling girl, you have about maybe 30 seconds to better your driving position. As a reminder, Inkling girl defers to Inkling. Inkling boy defers to whoever is second to last in points, which would be Toadette in this case. Same rules apply to the villagers. If in, if in the events both villagers and both inklings are a part of an AI group, then I don't really know what to do about that. 
I legit have no idea what to do about that. But we get 60 points for Pink Gold Peach, so that's all that matters to me. Uh, let's see. Villager gets 42. Oops. I fucking need to not do that. Uh, Venomario gets 40. Good job. So Venomario fucking just got himself out of the bottom with that performance. Lincoln gets another 40. <clears throat> Baby Luigi gets 23. He was also at the bottom as well, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Let me see. What was Baby Luigi saying at? Oh no. Baby Luigi uh, got 69. Nice. Uh, Baby Peach. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading the wrong thing. Wario with 22. Wario just chips away, dude. Like, he... Wario has got to be the best character in the game so far at getting... At averaging between 15 to, like, 35 points. He just chips. That's all he does. Lakitu with a nice 21. I think he was down at the bottom as well with Luigi, so that's good. Inkling Boy's points. He gets 20. We'll defer to Toadette. Uh, Inkling Girl gets 17. Pichette gets 15. Good for her. I believe I'll get to be Rosalina for this next one. And it looks like I will be. And Lemmy gets 14. And Toad gets 14. Now, barring anything, Baby Peach, Rosalina, Baby Peach, and Luigi will be the next ones I will do. 